Rome, the eternal city. Rome was the white, the white of civilization. What did it look like in ancient times at the peak of its existence, of its glory and prosperity? Our 3D reconstruction will give you this idea. Today we will show you the current progress of our Rome in 3D project. We will speak about what we have done this year and what we plan to do in the near future. And this is history in 3D and we are creating the most detailed, accurate and extensive 3D reconstruction of ancient Rome. Here is a general view of our 3D reconstruction of Rome. This is how our project looks at the moment. There are completely finished buildings and areas, and also those that are still in the process of development and improvement. We recreate the city as it was in the 4th century Common Era, within the walls of Aurelian, the outline of which is clearly visible. As you can see, at least 50% of the buildings in Rome have already been recreated. Most of the work has been done in the last three years. During this period, our project has made his way from creating the reconstructions of individual buildings towards creating a single ensemble of the entire city. First of all, we paid attention to the central part of Rome and the surrounding areas. Now. We are flying over the current Via del Foli Imperiale, and you can see the Colosseum, the Temple of Venus and Roma, the Basilica of Maxentius, and finally the complex of imperial forums. In the background rise the complex of the Palatine Palaces and the gilded roof of the Temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus. Now in the foreground you see the Basilica Ulpia also with the gilded roof and the famous Trajan's column to the right of it. Several entire regions of the ancient city were also recreated in 3D. Now we are flying over the current Trastevere. We fly over the Tiber River and over the island and turn towards the Circus Maximus. The first achievement of this year is the creation of a new and high-quality reconstruction of the Circus Maximus, which is recreated in detail and corresponds to up-to-date researches. However, even this version is not final, and it will be supplemented with details, sculptures and other things to give it even more realism. Another significant addition is that we have added the area around the bust of Karakawa. This is a large section of the city, filled with a variety of buildings. There were also rich estates and numerous tombs along the Via Appia and Via Latina. 
A separate video will soon be released about this area and its sites. And now we'll move on to the Via Appia. We see the famous tomb of the Scipios in front of us. From there we turn and follow Via Appia towards the city center. Here, the bath of Karakawa dominated the city. The bath of Karakawa were the second largest bath in Rome. They were built at the beginning of the 3rd century Common Era, most likely on the idea of the Emperor Septimius Severus, but put into operation already by his son, nicknamed Karakawa, from which the baths got their current name. Their real ancient name is the Bath of Antoninus. This is one of our most detailed reconstructions for which we have created almost all the interiors and several videos about it are available on our channel. The area between the bus of Karakawa and the center of the city is also recreated and with a very high accuracy. This was helped by archaeological data and preserved fragments of the ancient marble plan of Rome, so-called Forma Urbis Roma. It was an interesting area of Rome, where there were many decorated fountains along with the temples and important service buildings. We will also speak about this area in one of our next videos. Another big amount of work that is nearing completion is the Campus Martius complex, for which all the main reconstructions have already been created, but they still need to be textured and details need to be added 
and then combine it into a single system. Here you can see such important objects as the Pantheon, the bus of Alexander Severus, the Stadium and Odeon of Domitian, and finally the Theatre of Pompeii. We are finishing this flight over Pompeii Scuria, where, as we know, Gaius Julius Caesar ended his life. And finally, a little about our plans for next year. First of all, we are planning a number of new videos about already finished famous objects of Rome, as well as about coming ones. We also plan to work on improving the quality and content of our videos. As for the reconstruction itself, we want to add at least one new region, Campus Martius, as well as replace several outdated reconstructions with new ones. The changes will affect the very center of the city, including the Palatine and the Capitol. Thank you for being with us. Subscribe to the channel and follow our project. I wish you a successful and safe new year.